Hey people get ready for another great episode of Only Fools and Horses. Well sort of cause there's been a few changes in this one yeah. So how's it trolling trigger set yourself down man? Not so bad Dave thanks for inviting me up for dinner with cooking. No one invited you up dude you invited yourself as usual. Uncle Albert is gonna chop up a nice fresh blobby dell picked up down the market this morning. <laughs> oh yeah great dudes blobby mashed potatoes and peas my favorite as you know. Yeah and I've got a pack of Martian bars for later on when we watch Come Dancing it's the finals tonight. Martian bars are you sure I seem to remember when they were called Mars bars? Mars bars no way man they've always been Martian bars. He's off again saying everything has changed. I'm telling you Dave they used to be called Mars bars. Don't talk toffee. And another thing everyone is drinking Al Pacino's these days, yeah. Sure, I'll put the kettle on. And they used to be called Capuchinos. Capuchinos, don't be so stupid, you must have been living on a different planet, dude. I'm telling you, Del Boy, everything has changed around here, you used to wear a flat cap and a cheap sheepy. No way, man, I wouldn't be seen dead in a cheap sheepy. Well you haven't changed trigger same old cart horse you always were. I'm half horse half hound Dave have you ever seen a thoroughbred with floppy ears like these tell me. And one more thing Dave I'm sure you used to be named Rodney. Rodney no way man I've always been named Dave it's on my birth certificate I'll show you. And what about your wheels Del boy? What about my shiny wheels dude? <laughs> You've only got three now you used to have four. They really should put a camera on that car park down there everywhere else has got a nice camera these days. Yeah except for us we're not worthy of a bloomin' camera are we there afraid someone in the block will nick it. Stick with this dude's cause it all comes together now. Look at Uncle Albert he hasn't changed still going on about his time serving on this starship Cosmolossal in the Galactic War. Dude get real yeah you're talking about someone who thinks that rainbows live in the water. <laughs> and what about Kit Kats? Kit Kats yeah go on. They used to come in cat-shaped pieces you could put together on the kitchen table before you scoffed them. Yeah, come to think about it I remember that about a Kit Kat, yeah I'll go along with that. Well I'll tell you one thing that hasn't changed around here. Yeah, go on. This wallpaper same old wallpaper dude if you pulled your finger out with the professional scraper I went out of my way to get you for Christmas we could put up some new leafy wallpaper for a real change. Well I can't read the scraper's instruction manual Dell cause it's written in Chinese. <laughs> I remember when the lift used to work here. No way the lift has never worked in this block dude in fact I don't think there's even a lift in there it's just a set of doors for us lot to kick before we climb the blimmin stairs. Well I'm sure this block used to face the other way dull boy. Do you know what Dave that rings a bell with me yeah cause we used to be able to see Big Ben from here. All these changes dude something is going on here and I reckon it's got something to do with this block of flats. What Mandela house? Yeah it's the Mandela effect I reckon dudes and I reckon it could spread all over the world from here. The Mandela effect wow all over the blaming world yeah we could get on the telly get real famous and become millionaires. 
You two do not talk some rubbish. You really do too many cookies. I reckon only fools and horses would go along with ideas like that. The Mandela effect. Yeah, whatever. Next man. Heaven only knows, dude. Heaven only knows. Oh well maybe not but when the Mandela effect gets to it I reckon it will change for the better but don't forget how you saw it first dudes keep rolling yeah. Hey people welcome back to the fabulous Mandela house. Well dudes what a great gut bash that it was you'll have to give me the recipe Dave. What for man you don't cook you live out of a tin can that someone else has to open for you. If I ever take up the ancient art of cooking dude then I'm gonna start with a blobby casserole I reckon it came out really well tonight. Well thanks yeah Uncle Albert Chuck and a few mushrooms my old mate Terry picked fresh for us over the park this morning. That Terry has always been full of bright ideas. Well I think come dancing was truly delightful this week truly delightful what say you Dave? Then old oh, boy we couldn't see the telly while you did the fox trot in front of it with Uncle Albert. <laughs> well I'd have rather watched the voice Len but oh no I haven't got much of a say in it seeing as I don't really live here do I? The voice out yeah, that's really loud man far out yeah. Well I'm not turning for anyone cause me and Uncle Albert love our come dancing. What a blimmin' cheek I've got a good mind to stay at home next week and watch the voice on my own telly don't ring me at the last moment begging me to come round dudes don't bother. We won't. <laughs> well what now the night is still young. Dunno. I know let's play Monopoly. Monopoly yeah I'll go and get it out of the bedroom cupboard. Hold on Dave hold on hold your horses how do we know you're not going to cheat and grab a wad full of cash out of the box before you come back in. Maybe we should all go and get the box to be sure we're gonna play Monopoly properly yeah. Yeah come on let's do it dudes. Yeah Monopoly properly let's go. So where's the blimmin' Monopoly box then Len? I'll have to have a good clear out of this wardrobe one day Dave I think it's under the lawn mower. A lawn mower? Yeah it's the latest fly mow. A lawn mower on the 10th floor of Mandela house you couldn't make it up could you? He could pick he's full of bright ideas as our dull boy it's his show yeah. Yeah a Mandela house where the dudes have found a monopoly box with no money in it so they're off to get a new one down the market so don't go away cause they'll be back and we'll be back after a short cookie break yeah. Hey people back at the fabulous Mandela house. Yeah where the dudes finally found the Monopoly box. With no Monopoly money in it so they're off to Hooky Street to get a new one yeah. They're going together so there is no cheating cause they want to play Monopoly properly. Properly yeah. There you go it has stopped again. It must be coming down now I saw it go up I'm sure I did. No way Del Boy that was just a reflection coming off the windows over the road. There are two other ways down there are the stairs or a window. The window. 
This is a cartoon world man it's a cosmic ok per so go on try it and you'll get up dos yourself down and be on your way yeah trust me. Yeah I'm sure I'm just gullible Dave who will jump out of the window and walk away as a cartoon ghost yeah I'm sure you try it first man and I'll be right behind you. I didn't get where I am today in this world by giving in easily. <laughs> Give it another 10 minutes at least dude's patience as Yoda would say. Good old Yoda you mean Uncle Albert's best buddy in the Galactic War yeah. They're still regular pen friends. Don't start him off about the Galactic War or he'll get all excited and show us up good and proper down Hooky Street. Hey Del, it's all coming back to me now I remember what you did with all that Monopoly money. Really? Yeah, you were handing it out as I owe yous to all our lovely creditors. I owe yous yeah far more professional and reassuring than a scrap of paper or the back of a blimmin' fag packet. <laughs> You know what dude someday I'm gonna get away from these two bit going nowhere sketches yeah my career is gonna really lift off. Really? Yeah I can see it all now. Oh well if that's as good as it's gonna get then we go with the dude's tip 5 yeah. Hey people. From heaven knows where yes you know it's that huggable hound with the cute stare yeah. So dudes put your paws together for dig the dumber a bit dumber than your average drummer yeah. Dumb enough to appear in this sketch yeah. <laughs> what a star give us a glance this way dig. Do I look that good dudes do I really? You look fabulous dig just fabulous. Do you guys reckon we should do just one more take on this arriving bit? I want it to look real perfect, yeah. Okay everyone get ready for just one more take to keep him happy and then we'll wrap it for today, yeah. Right, it's getting dark out there so let's take the stairs then. I cannot take the rattle of Uncle Albert's wheelchair down all those stairs anymore no one helps. You two go on and me and Uncle Albert will take the window. I'll help Dal I'll open it for you. Mark my words the second we jump out of the window I bet the lift door opens I just know it. <laughs> I'm going to do another blimmin petition next week then get on a blimmin bus and take it all the way to number 10 I mean it Albert I have had enough. You carry the protest banner and I'll do the talking. You know what I reckon old Dig really has got some star qualities if you squint your eyes. Has going up yet? Yeah, I knew we at the Cookie Wood Studios wouldn't be able to hold on to him forever he belongs up there with the stars. Well we sure have given him a big lift off here the rest is up to him yet. No loyalty these days and after all we've done for him really we show him the way to stardom and big bucks and his off down the road. With a skip. Yeah off down the road with a skip in the step what a cheek really not even a final wave as he heads over the horizon of the star fields. Yeah you get to know who your real mates are in the long run keep rollin dudes. Hey you're back yeah where you been we've been waiting to get on with the game yeah.
The dudes have been on the board for a few hours now. Trying to play Monopoly properly yet. Come on, Dave, it's your throw. Where am I now? You're still parked over the you're the car, remember? Oh yeah, the car right here goes, dudes. Hold on, you're parked on Virginia Avenue, yeah. Virginia Avenue, yeah, so what? Well, it says in the rule book that you're due a fine cause it's double yellow lines down there. You're having a laugh, man, that's the third ticket I've had in this game. Well, you wanted the car, Dave, so you faced the parking fines, yeah, I'm glad I'm the top hat cause no top hat has ever got a parking ticket. How much this time? $75 to the banker or you face a tow away fee. $75 well that's just great man I'm getting cleaned out here I've only got a few dollars left and just what am I gonna buy with that tell me. You could grab yourself a few cookies and an Al Pacino and come to terms with the fact that you're a born loser dude. Brilliant, just brilliant who makes up the rules to this game anyway. The banker makes all the rules as we go around the board dude that's the way it goes yeah. He's the chairman of the board. Right let's move on it's your throw doubt boy. There you go lucky six and four where does that take me? Right hold on a minute 6 and 4 that's 10 I think and that takes you to the Pennsylvania Railroad. Aboard! Right I'll buy trigger $200 and it's all mine yeah. No doubt $200 is the price of a monthly ticket uptown yeah only the banker has the sort of dosh to buy a blimmin railroad dream on. Really well, it seems to me that the banker has a monopoly on the whole game, man. Yeah, you're learning fast, Dave. The banker is made of money and he calls all the shots, yeah. Hold on, hold on here just a minute, yeah, we bought the monopoly box, it's ours, so we can make up our own rules and play the game our way if we like. Well we don't strictly own a Dell we're just custodial keepers of the money in the box read the small print yeah. But it's just monopoly money it's just a blimmin game man. It's still money man and it still comes under the law of the land. Hey I've just had a big brain wave to chuck into the think tank. Yeah, go on, duh, let's hear it. Maybe everyone should switch over to Monopoly money then at least we can all have a laugh as we hand it out for parking fines and train tickets and at least it's colorful stuff to stuff in your back pocket. You call that a brainwave? Yeah, you're wasted here, Del boy, you should be up in the city wheeling and dealing with big brain waves coming at you like that. I know yeah the headhunters will find me sooner or later and then we'll get it sorted. With BIM and Monopoly money you're some sort of genius you really are dull it's a wonder we live in poverty on the 10th floor of Mandela House yeah. <laughs> Patience Dave someday soon we'll be billionaires you mark my words it's all down to strategy which is something that goes way over your head so I won't bore you with the details. Yeah don't bother Del cause I don't think I could handle this sort of brainwaves that come you way yeah your throw trigger. Don't switch away to watch a cute cat and caterpillar video that's gone viral on YouTube dudes don't do that to us please this gets better as it goes along promise. Yes it's just got a slow start that's all stick with it people cause it's gonna finish real fabulous yet. It's 
getting real exciting now people. It's all gone rather weird around here tonight I keep seeing a giant blobby staring at me. Yeah man I've seen him too he has come back to haunt us I reckon. Where did you say your mate Terry got those mushrooms we chucked in the blobby stew Dave? Over the park they'll naturally grown yeah. What over the park growing next to the council bin yeah? I washed them under the tap what's your problem Del boy be grateful for what you get especially when it comes for free. Right my throat dude. 5 and 2 that takes me to the electric company and I'm gonna buy it for the 150 monopoly dollars yeah. Dude that's just your bill for the month yeah the banker owns the electric company he's a real bright spark with figures yeah. Blimey I'm gonna have to cut down the amount of time I spend under the hair dryer yeah. Wow I've landed on community chess. You lucky git what you got what does it say Dave? Sure I'm the lucky git who has just got a blimmin meal deal terms and conditions apply yeah. A meal deal well that's better than nothing Dave so don't make a meal of it make the most of it and be grateful for what you get yeah. You know what really bugs me dudes the way some just place their houses and hotels all wonky like on the board yeah keep the streets neat is what I say. Stop staring at the board and get on with it Del boy it's not chess. Yeah there's no brain surgery involved Del. Don't bring up my brain surgery again dude you know it makes me flinch just thinking about it. <laughs> houses and hotels really the way this game is going I'll be lucky to find myself in a tent I reckon. Why not sleep under the stars Dave and let the mushrooms really do their thing. Who are those three sitting up there? Who them there are higher selves watching over us from a higher dimension I reckon. Our higher self sitting in a higher dimension watching over us and guiding us well that's really reassuring to know that is. Yes our higher selves who have gone beyond the indulgences of us mere mortals on a lowly plane of bare existence. What do you mean indulgences such as scoffing bags of cookies day and night? Yeah and drinking too many cups of Al Pacino. <laughs> Well it's good to know they are watching over us and guiding us. Guiding us to do what dude? To put the blimmin kettle on I reckon. Do me a cup while you're at Adele. Thanks mate. Come on you lot you're having a laugh yeah a 5 minute maximum cookie break every half hour yeah it's written in the contract you signed with the studio remember. Let's wrap this one up now dudes it's gone on forever we gotta move on yeah 4 3 2 1. Action. Well I'm gonna put on my best t-shirt and go and ask the banker for a loan cause I still wanna win this. With your credit history Dave you wanna forget it don't bother. And who was it that got me to sign everything tell me every company check and every credit agreement and every plea of guilty for market trader offenses yeah who was it Del boy of 64 Mandela house with no previous tell me. You said from knee high that you wanted responsibility Dave if your old mum could see you now she'd be so proud of you. If she was here now she'd have you arrested. Right well then come on let's hurry up and finish this my throw I think. One and one yeah right chance yeah I've got a blimmin' chance chuck me over the guard trig and don't peep. What chance you got Del boy tell me. Go to jail go straight to jail do not pass go and collect two hundred dollars well sod this for a lark I'm going to bed. You were losing anyway. Really and who was winning not you too that's for sure. 
I think the banker was winning Del Boy what a laugh. Well I'm not laughing man I've run out of Monopoly money and I still owe two parking fines to the banker and I've just been nicked for loitering and boardwalk cause I'm homeless cause I never got to buy a nice Monopoly house. Come on I'm feeling lucky just one more time round the board yeah you never know we give it one last shot yeah. No keep account and we'll carry on next week trigger I'm off to bed as well. Well is there any chance of keeping on the sofa again Del Boy cause it's real dodgy for a doggy down in that car park at night I'm not the bravest of hounds you know that. You may keep on the sofa as usual trigger but out on the balcony cause your snoring gives me nightmares it's just not natural. Oh. Okay but can I borrow your cheap sheepy Dell cause the weatherman said there's gonna be a severe frost in the morning. Very well but don't dribble down it during the night. No problem Dell I'll put a carrier bag over my head see you in the morning. <laughs> yes good night Trigger. Good night Dave. Good night Trigger. Okay everyone help to get the sofa out onto the balcony and yeah, mind the window. We are observing your earth and we'd like to make contact with you. Listen to that Dave we let him sleep over and he keeps the whole block awake. We'll be getting another brick through the window soon mark my words. <laughs> That's cosmic that is real cosmic. Give it a rest trigger. Can you hear him Del? Just a quick call to see if you need double glazing or are to back any PPI and our professionals in both fields give us a bell thanks. Oh well I'm not gonna get any kip may as well stay up and watch the sun rise. Keep rolling dudes. Someday soon we're gonna be billionaires. Well be knocking on the door of 64 Mandela House again real soon dudes it's a promise. And we promise that next time it's gonna be real far out fabulous and groovy. Yeah in that order dudes far out fabulous and groovy. We'll see. The Mubizu Cosmos, yeah. Hey, I can't find nothing on the radio. The four. <laughs> Oh wow. 
Well people I've got a feeling we're not on Hungry Hill anymore. Hey dude somewhere out there in the big out there yeah. Yeah go on. Build your recently updated great big out there yeah. When you're ready. Yeah right yeah out there can be found so many cosmical capers. So many you wouldn't believe. I can see it all now wow cosmic capers in the star fields of creation oh yeah far out fabulous and all that groovy. Yeah and somewhere out there after a hard day in the fields I've parked me plow and I can't see it now. You ma but not your old plow no one would steal it anyhow. Think I will head towards sunrise and who knows follow me nose and see where it goes here goes. Yeah who knows you're gonna reap just what you sell. Yeah also they say I've got a feeling I'm gonna find out some sunny day. Some sunny day yeah. Hey there are quite a few star farmers and galactic gardeners working away out there in the fields today. Yeah maybe I'll meet one on my way. Well what do you know blow me down with a feather it's star farmer Sam how's it rolling man? Not too bad Astrobo. Must not grumble. Been real busy lately getting ready for the cosmic harvest yeah but me old knees are playing up again. You should get some knee pads man have a look on eBay. Have you seen the poorly parked plow out there this morning by any chance dude? You have lost a plow out in the star fields well let me tell you man y'all never see it again I have lost dozens in my time. Oh well it'll be on my way but put the word out that I'm looking okay you never know. Yeah sure thing keep rolling man. Star Farmer Sam what a man a cosmic matchstick man a real dude yeah. The star fields of creation yeah far out you never know what you're gonna see next. Yeah but I don't think you're gonna find that old plow out there. Oh well guess I will have to give Del Boy a ring and get him to sort me out another plow next time he goes down Hooky Street. Hooky Street. Yeah they've got TV's Deep Freeze and David Bowie LPs where it all comes from as a mystery. Long live Hooky Street yeah. Yeah magnifique Hooky Street yeah. This time next year we'll be billionaires Dave billionaires. As sure as I stand here you mark my words. Dream on Del Boy. He's in the right place for dreaming here dude. Yeah, it sure is far out here man you sure can put your hands in your head here. Yeah, far out. Hey just another day in the movie Zoo Cosmos yeah. Yeah keep rollin dudes.